Mystery 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. News from the Street 919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon, I am Vanessa Thomas with the 4 p.m. news on the streets, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by TN Tech, the power to make it work. In the headlines, SEA exams postponed. Sailing of the APT James cancelled due to mechanical problems. Two murders recorded today, one in Port of Spain, the other in Point Fortin. And internationally, Prince William receives first COVID vaccine dose. And now the news in detail. The SEA examination that was supposed to have taken place on June 10th has been postponed to July 1st. This was revealed this afternoon at a televised post-cabinet meeting. Earlier in the week, Education Minister Dr. Nayan Gasby dolly had stated that protecting lives was the most important thing with the increase in COVID deaths and infections in Trinidad and Tobago. It was also announced this afternoon at the media conference that SCA results will be released by the second week of September to facilitate placements of students by the third week of September. The management of the Trinidad and Tobago Inter-Island Transportation Company Limited wishes to advise the traveling public that the APT James 4 p.m. sailing from Port of Spain today at 6.30 a.m. sailing from Scarborough are cancelled due to mechanical problems. Passengers with tickets for the 4 p.m. sailing of the APT James from Port of Spain today will be accommodated on the 8 a.m. sailing of the TNT Spirit from Port of Spain tomorrow. Passengers with tickets for the 6.30 a.m. sailing of the APT James from Scarborough tomorrow will be accommodated on the 4 p.m. sailing of the TNT Spirit from Scarborough. A man was shot in the face on Nelson Street, Port of Spain, in a shootout rather, this morning during curfew hours. Two other men were arrested and two others escaped. A report said police spotted a white Hyundai accent driving west along Independence Square around 3.40 a.m. The curfew is from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. The driver stopped on recognizing a marked police vehicle parked nearby, then turned around and drove off in the opposite direction. Police said they followed the vehicle near an apartment building on Nelson Street. As police approached the parked car, two men got out and shot at them. The officers fired back. The shooters managed to run away. On checking the car, police saw three other men, 27, a 27-year-old from Maloney Gardens and a 25-year-old and a 31-year-old, both of Eastern Quarry, Laventil, in the back seat. One of the men had been shot in the face. He was taken to the Port of Spain General Hospital. The other two were taken to the Besson Street Police Station. And the body of a 57-year-old man identified as Everell Dublin of Tanner Street, Point 14, was discovered in his home this morning by a relative. Police said that while the house was ransacked, they are yet to ascertain whether anything was taken. Police believe that Everell Dublin, who lived alone, was killed during curfew last night. Internationally, Prince William received his first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine on Tuesday. The 38-year-old is the latest senior royal to share having received the vaccine following the Queen and the Prince of Wales. Prince William is among nearly 37 million people in the UK, around 70% of the population, to have received their first dose, according to the government's latest statistics. And that was the 4 p.m. news on the street, now on 9 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by TN Tech, the power to make it work. Recapping the headlines, SEA exams postponed. Sailing of the APT James cancelled due to mechanical problems. Two murders recorded today, one in Port of Spain, the other in Point Fortin. And internationally, Prince William receives first COVID vaccine dose.